Today's adventure brings us to the Halichi Wildlife Management Area here in the Green Swamp. This is the entrance that's right off the road between Polk City and Haines City. I don't live too far from here. And what has me intrigued about this is that there's a tunnel, supposedly, that goes under I-4 that you could walk through. Now, living in Polk County all of my life, I've probably driven over that supposed tunnel while transversing I-4 many times. However, this is the first time I heard about the tunnel, so I figured I might as well go ahead and check it out. Come on, let's go on an adventure. The name of this road that comes off of the Polk City, Haines City Road seems to be Tanner's Grade. A lot of this area was mined and also there's orange groves throughout here before the wildlife management area was established. So hopefully we'll be able to see some relics of years past of Florida history and tradition. So something I find interesting is is that there's power lines that run back here all the way back not the big ones that run off of i-4 but more like the lower powered lines so it makes me wonder if there's something back here maybe some kind of building that's still in use or these are just old from buildings past i don't know we'll see look at the size of this grasshopper that is a big one Wow, this is some old equipment that was probably used at one time to maintain the land around here. Well, some of it looks like it could have been used here recently, like the grapples there, as shiny as those pistons are. Some of this is probably just left over from this tractor barn, as we would call it. So, not sure. Very cool though. So earlier I talked about the power line and was wondering what would be receiving power down here. Of course, a little ways back we saw that tractor barn. It's probably an old tractor barn from the groves or mines that were here and now being used by the services to maintain the roads. There's some material there that's probably used, so. Probably from here on out, we're not going to see any other structures that are receiving power and, and are in use. Continuing down the path here. Let's see. So I continued down the path and saw a red sign in the distance. So I'm just now up on it. And it's a warning sign to anglers asking them to release the largemouth bass that they catch. So what's really cool is for the fishing folks, it looks to be a nice pond there. So this is a, maybe only a mile and a half hike and it's a pond probably a lot of people don't fish in. So it would definitely be worth it to bring your tackle gear and see what you can catch. Apparently, there's a lot of bass in there since they have a red warning sign telling you that uh, to throw them back. This was the pond that I showed you earlier that had the warning sign. But I wanted to show you just how nice it is. It appears to be a pond that was most likely dug out during some mining or maybe to build up the roads. but. Absolutely stunning. Very clear water too. I don't know if you can see it from the from the camera. It's a little overcast today. What's interesting is, is that it seems like it's got a little island in the middle out there. This water is very clear. 
There's that island I'd spoke about earlier. And it looks like there's some birds hanging out, taking a break, probably looking for some fish. Like I said, this water is very clear, so they can most likely see down in the water and probably just waiting for a fish to swim by to get some breakfast. This wound around this trail and I noticed some poo or what some folks would call scat. It's not a poo expert, so I don't know what kind of animal this could be from, but I do know we have hog and coyote and deer in the area. So if any poo expert can enlighten us on what animal would have secreted this, that would be great. Here is another pond with another sign. This one looks like it would be a little more difficult to fish out of just because the banks are really steep, which also lends me to believe that these were dug out during a mining process. But nevertheless, another pond. And here's a fresh maintained trail that was probably disked up with the disc that we saw back at the tractor barn. And this is where we came from. Have not seen anybody out here, just me. As in life, we have come to a fork in the road. We are turning off of Tanner grade and onto power line grade, which appears to be the path least traveled. I've made it to the point where the power lines are just on the south side of Interstate 4. Those are the main power lines that uh, run down the interstate there and you can see some of the cars behind me. And I guarantee you, just like most of those folks that are traveling down I-4 this morning, they did not realize that this treasure lied just to the south of them. This is amazing. I've lived here all of my life and never have experienced this wildlife management area. It's absolutely beautiful on this overcast Saturday, Father's Day weekend here in Central Florida. I am walking down the power line grade, as they called it, and just really taking it all in. It's really cool. I've traveled I-4 many times, driven right past these power lines and did not realize that there was a trail out here. We are continuing down this power line grade. As you can see, the cattle tracks are still headed down this road. And just up ahead, where that hill is, is uh, where the tunnel is around that area. So we will be taking a look at that. And if I had to say, this is probably where the cows came from, from this cattle ranch here. Wouldn't it be cool if we actually found a cow or two? This is where I came from, way down that power line grade road. We've come to another fork. This is Interstate 4 still, just to the north of us. And by looking at the GPS, it looks like we need to come down this Roger Loop. Power line grade continues on. And ultimately, we're going to end up on Home Run Boulevard. Home Run Boulevard is where Boardwalk and Baseball used to be, just across the street from it, before that circus world. Way back. So, this is the moment I have been waiting for since finding out about this tunnel. As you can see, we're getting very close to I-4 and you really can't make out this tunnel. Of course, we see the road does dip down here and slightly go down some, which lends me to believe that this is it. This is that tunnel that we had been looking for. And as the motorist 
motor by, unbeknownst to them, I will be motoring under. Well, as you can see behind me, the tunnel is flooded, which is okay. At least we know that we're here, that the tunnel is in fact here. And if this was my only path back, then it would be no problem to forge my way through there. However, this time, since I'm going to be continuing on to the east, then I will leave this for another day. You can see we've had some rain the past couple days and the water has gone down some. But this is it, this is the tunnel. This is the tunnel looking out to the south. But there's other people that have found this tunnel also. It appears that uh, Tyler and Kelly have found this tunnel. And Danny and Tyler have found this. And somebody by the name of Cutter. But this is looking through the tunnel. I-4 cars are just above me. And you can see the water has gone down some. But we will leave this for another day. As I sit here on the east side of the Holichi Wildlife Management Area after completing about six miles and some change this morning, waiting for my ride to arrive so I've notified them and they're headed this way I thought I'd stop and reflect a little bit of just how cool this adventure was you know I travel down I-4 quite often I don't live too far away from here never knew that this was here it's definitely a uh, easy trail one could probably do it on a uh, normal bicycle of course a mountain bike would be slightly better especially here towards the end it's some gravel and not as well uh, maintained if that's the right word but anyway so lots of cool stuff we got to see the tunnel under i4 we got to see some cows or bovine numerous birds it's overcast father's day weekend it sure was a joy it took me about three hours with filming and all and uh, it was really cool to see the ponds that are stocked so you fishermen be kind of neat to walk out here and cast your line and see what you get all right till the next adventure see ya